the main things we have accomplished, uh, one is that this main nesting area is about 75 acres, part of this farm. And um, over the last year, we did get the town to put a conservation easement owned by the Barrington Land Conservation Trust over that whole 75 acres. So, um, we, as a matter of fact, there's a, there was a letter in the paper the other day saying this would be a great, great place for a wind turbine. <laughs> I quickly went to the easement and found, you know, no structures. <laughs> so, um. I'm delighted to uh, be here today. This is great to be among folks, that, some of which I haven't seen in more than a decade, and some of which are, are new or long friends that we've had in our program. My name is Eric Strauss. I direct the Environmental Studies Program at Boston College, and I'm one of the founding members and science director of the Urban Ecology Institute. And my colleague, Pete Auger, who had planned to be here today, sends his apologies. He's actually pretty ill with a flu bug that's going around. And, but he promises to be hosting a field trip tomorrow at Sandy Neck, and we'll provide more information for folks who might like to tag along there. But um, we've been collecting samples over the years from uh, terrapins from Wellfleet, lots of samples from Wellfleet, and we've expanded that to farms to go. I've gone out with Pete a few times, and we're still working on getting a, a good sample size from, from that population. And um, in the South Coast population, where Sue and Don have been helping collect samples. And uh, Rhode Island, one of the students that worked at Charlotte site is going to be sharing samples with us. I did contact Naveen. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's great. So we're going to do a fine-scale population study of the, this particular area. And we're also doing a paternity study. Um, it has been documented that terrapins exhibit multiple mm -hmm. paternity, which many other turtle species do. But we just are interested in the extent of it. How sure. many clutches, how many baddies, and uh, put some numbers on those kind of things. These are great projects for students because they come out in the summer, do the field work. We can have some modest funding for them. Um, and then they can take the samples back and work on them during the course of the winter. So uh, we are doing some genetic studies. And if anyone's interested in wanting to know what our primers are or what our techniques are, uh, you can come to the poster and I'll explain that to you.